Ivy. I'm your ever Khalid gal, Gianna. And you're at home here with Shot TV. Literally at home with it because you are, we are connecting through Shop TV's YouTube channel. As you all know, it's Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. It's a Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, it's hump day Wednesday, and it's already day 51 of the enhanced community quarantine imposed by the government. Uh, you know what? That's something we can celebrate because surviving 51 days in this very difficult situation is something that you should applaud yourself for. You are able to get through it. We will get through anything with all of this strength and this willpower that we have and we have each other too, virtually, right? You can hold my hand, virtually. <laughs> so yes, we will be joining you for day 51 of this enhanced community quarantine. Alam kong bored na bored na kayo, kaya naman magkwentuhan muna tayo today kung mag-isa kayo sa bahay. Okay lang. You got a friend in me, right? <laughs> Today, I won't be reviewing any product or recommending things to do, but I'll actually be sharing my personal story as a beauty queen in time of the pandemic. That's why I make crown ako, hindi lang to for fun, guys. Dahil may topic tayo today, but I'll take it off my head because it's a little bit heavy. Yun nga, um, during this time, I think it'll be interesting that I get to share my story as a beauty queen in the pandemic because the pageant industry is approaching um, these national pageants very differently than they would during normal day. And that's a little bit of what we'll be talking about today. So, I'm actually the Mandalurong representative for Miss Philippines Earth 2020 and my pageant's gonna be on May 24. Love to see you there. Virtually, they will be doing it virtually just to keep everyone safe in time of this coronavirus pandemic. But I'll start off with my story and how I started to just really get into pageantry. Naalala ko in the early 2000s, I was watching Miss Universe with my family and Miss Canada won. I thought she was just so beautiful, she was so eloquent. At that time, I was living in Canada and her parents were first generation immigrants as well. So that was something that I could personally relate to and I thought that was absolutely amazing that she was able to share her story with this platform and even though I admired her so much I never thought that I could be like her I always grew up a complete tomboy still am I love sports I, I love wearing sneakers nakik kung uh, alam to ng shop tv staff pag pumpun ako sa shop tv I'm just wearing rubber shoes and sweatpants tapos nagbibihis na lang ako parang medyo girly on screen but but I'm just really I'm just really chill I'm just like a, a chill as a person I love adventure I didn't think I would ever have the poise to become a beauty queen. However, I did get into the entertainment industry at the age of 18 and that's when I started to meet a lot of beauty queens here in the Philippines because a lot of them were getting into hosting to really develop their speaking skills which has just become this huge aspect of being a beauty queen as well. And when I mean speaking skills, it's a lot of people underestimate that um, beauty queens can speak kalinil hanggang ganda lang. But right now, pageantry is really evolving to girls who are able to express themselves through their platform. And that's what fueled me to pursue this path. Um, as I mentioned before, never thought I could be a beauty queen. I tried out for a training camp kasi dito sa Pilipinas if you want to join a pageant, may mga training camp. Yet. I tried out for one twice, didn't get in, and after that I was like, I don't have the face for pageantry, maybe I don't have the personality for pageantry, I don't have the body for pageantry, so many things made me insecure because of that rejection. But um, I had a few people believe in me and saying that, you know what, pageantry is shifting and you you know, if you think you don't have the face, the body, the personality for it, you have the voice for it. You have the passion for it. And that's what fueled me to join my first national pageant, which was Miss World Philippines 2018. Um, I always say this, but joining pageants is probably one of the most difficult things I've ever encountered in life. Imagine joining Miss World Philippines 2018 against these 39 other girls who have already been doing pageants for a very long time. So that was one of my biggest challenges is their experience and that experience turned out for them to just be more sure of themselves and Ako naman, because of all these comparisons from different pageant blogs, pageant fans, non-pageant fans, um, all of these comparisons really made me second-guess myself. I even remembered na on my Instagram, someone said, I don't even know why you joined. You're not gonna win. You're not even that pretty. And that really got me overwhelmed. And the night before the coronation night, I 
just couldn't stop crying i was like why did i even join this i'm not even gonna win um got myself out there and realized that you know what even though if i didn't win at that time even though i had all of this self-doubt that really challenged me as a person that allowed me to grow i had to reassure myself of what i've accomplished i had to reassure myself of my own strengths and weaknesses and and that's one of the biggest things that really really strengthened me and that's what i've that's one of the biggest lessons I got from pageantry is just reassuring myself of what I can do. So a few months later, after that, few months lang ha, sabi ko, okay, I'm never gonna join a pageant before just because it's just so difficult. A few months later, I actually joined one of the biggest city pageants in the Philippines, which was Miss Mandaluyong 2019. And one of the things that reassured me in Miss Mandaluyong is that they said they really want a strong Mandaleño, somebody who can really talk about the city, talk about the platforms and the messages that the city wants to portray. So that's why I joined it. I was a lot more at ease just because I was sure of myself, stopped comparing myself to other girls. Um, I was like, I'm just gonna not put pressure on myself to win and just have fun with this. And eventually I got first runner up, which is where this crown was, where this crown is from. And I had so many fun projects with Miss Mandaluyong. I was able to be on floats for their parade. Um, I was able to be there for their events during may which is one of their busiest months so that was super duper fun right now as i've mentioned i am the mandaluyong representative for miss philippines earth 2020 which has been both a challenge but has been a lot of fun as well because my creativity has been challenged and you know my platform for this one is natural disaster risk reduction through education and one of my biggest projects was i was able to partner up with deaf ed to go around different public schools in mandaluyong to talk about how important it is to know what to do prior during and after a natural disaster and how to live a sustainable lifestyle as well to reduce climate change that causes these natural disasters so that's what i'm doing now i remember during that time um one of the kindergartners said that the coronavirus is actually a natural disaster and instantly said, what is this happening? That's not a storm. I, I don't know what you're talking about. But when you think about it now in retrospect, the coronavirus is a natural disaster because it's something that we can't control. But we can still educate ourselves on what to do during this pandemic and after this pandemic to make sure that it doesn't happen again and we don't lose as many lives. Um, and that's a little bit now of what I'll be talking about, some drawbacks I faced because of the pandemic. Well, first of all, our pageant was supposed to be on May 15. Um, it has been moved to May 24 and one of the biggest news headlines, it's a virtual pageant. So we're making a lot of the things from home. Um, a lot of the videos are from home. I've had gowns that were made na pero hindi ma-deliver sa akin. So mga last minute na yung gowns, yung mga swimsuits. I, I have to ask my best friend the like to take my videos. It, it's a difficult process but um, just because I believe in the platform of the organization so much, I decided to continue to pursue it and um, to still challenge myself with that. Uh, it's caused a lot of, you know, uncertainty as well in myself. Kaya ko ba kahit hindi to lang ako sa bahay, but you just have to, you know, reassure yourself. Kaya kaya mo nga. So I'm still pursuing it, and I'm actually having a lot of fun with creating the content for it. I think uh, the purpose of pageants during this time, some people may think it's not relevant, but we have to remind ourselves that these candidates are representing a city, a barangay, you know, a, a province. And because of that, they're the voice of that province. So they want to be heard. Um, for Mandaluyong, we want to tell people that, you know, we're doing mass testing now and it's putting our city in a better direction um, and maybe other people can also be influenced from that we're the first city to distribute goods in eco bags and maybe other cities can follow the same suit as well and because of that um, you know my local government is very busy but because I'm the representative of them I would um, I'm encouraged even more now knowing that my voice is so much more important at this time because yeah I am the voice of that city so some of the things that I've done during these past few months, especially being in the enhanced community quarantine, is not only posting on my social media about how important it is to stay at home and flatten the curve as much as possible, but I've been trying to help out with some non, um, 
non-governmental organizations as well. One of the biggest ones is Protect the Frontline and they connect you directly to um, beneficiaries so you know where your donations are going. And that's so important because it means that I don't want to donate because we don't know where to But what Protect the Frontline does is they connect you directly to the frontliner so you can donate either meals or PPEs. And I've been able to do that. I've been able to work with the National Center for Mental Health and Mandaluyo Medical Center. With that as well, I've been able to help out with um, with that as well, I've been able to help out with You Happy Events, who is distributing hygiene kits to kids from marginalized community. Young Focus PH, they are um, providing sacks of rice to the marginalized communities in Tondo, Manila, and Zero Hunger Philippines, which is providing meals naman for more than 10,000 families in Luzon, and that's a youth-led group. So they're absolutely inspiring. As much as possible, I'm trying to get the word out for them and trying to connect to frontliners as well to see how how much more I can help as a Mandaleño. And I think, you know what, even if you feel na wala, wala kayong mabibigay at this time, you can still help out. You can just stay at home, stay sanitized, and be smart with your decisions. So the biggest takeaway from this is that honestly, you don't need to be a beauty queen to move with a purpose. There are so many ways to show your empathy towards our Filipino brothers and sisters. You can and send encouraging messages to your loved ones tell them that you miss them just make sure that they're okay because our mental health during this time is just as important as our physical health and I hope that you know these past 10 minutes have inspired you um, and that you can be a beauty queen even without the crown anybody can be a beauty queen as long as your aim is to inspire and to show and pursue your passions that's it for our short story time for today i wish i could talk with you guys so much more but i will be catching you again here on the youtube page of shop tv philippines i hope hope hope, hope you guys learned something from my journey please continue to support us at shop tv ph for our facebook and instagram you can shop on our website www.shoptv.com.ph we have so many new items there you can check out again this has been Gianna and I hope to see you on the next YouTube vlog. Bye guys! Mwah.